Welcome back to Brightside on this, the third day of hurricane season. Now we've already had three named storms this spring in the tropics and Grant is keeping an eye on tropical storm Cristobal right now uh, on this only June the third <laughs> Grant, unbelievable. Yeah, right. Yeah, we broke the record yesterday. Uh, the earliest time that we had three named storms uh, prior to yesterday was June 5th, and that was with Colin uh, back in 2016. But uh, this year, unlike any other, no doubt about it, just chalk it up to 2020. Uh, let's take you down to the latest tropical storm, which is Tropical Storm Cristobal, there it is, uh, spinning in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we are finding that the system is actually about ready to make landfall, even though uh, it makes landfall, though we're still expecting it to strengthen after it weakens to a tropical depression and then turn north and then gradually strengthen as it moves through the Gulf of Mexico. Now, I will say the waters in the Gulf of Mexico right now are not as warm as they are during August, September. Uh, so we're not going to we don't expect to see that rapid intensification, but the wind speeds with this storm aren't as important as I think the other impacts that we're seeing already life threatening rain falling through parts of Mexico, Central America. And that's going to be the concern as that storm starts to turn to the north as we go through Thursday and Friday. Look how much rain extends well beyond the center of this storm, not to mention also rough seas. Now that's because of the wind, but rough seas, including impacting our coast here in Tampa Bay, heavy rainfall that will spread into much of the northern and northeastern part of the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to have to watch that track because just because the center stays away from us, the impacts with the rain and the potential coastal uh, coastal surge and maybe even some uh, beach erosion. We'll have to watch the, those conditions. Heavy rainfall, four, five, six, seven, eight inches, all possible. It just depends on where that track goes. So here's what we're looking at right now in terms of the impacts here in Tampa Bay. Uh, we're going to see some rounds of heavy rain really picking up today, but more so into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. We're watching that potential for flooding, higher tides, some strong currents, and maybe even some rip currents as well. So that's all dependent, though, on the track of Cristobal at this point. Uh, no doubt an active start to the season, and no doubt that it, it's going to be just a different hurricane season altogether, not just because of the activity, but because of the ongoing pandemic.